actually did a drawing challenge. I wanted to do like a small review of the starting kit that I bought out of, out of Amazon. The reason of doing the review for the kit itself is for those who want to start drawings themselves. This is what I've seen that's the most popular on Amazon to buy. This kit is from H&B. It has 35 pieces, not 32 that I said in the intro of the video. It comes at 15 pounds. That's like $17 or something like that. So it's not that expensive that you cannot afford it. And yeah, it comes with the sketchbook. The sketchbook itself has a pretty nice surface to the, to the um, paper itself. It's pretty thick compared like, to the normal paper that I am going to draw on. It's a more soft and blended paper that you can achieve a better nuance of shading on it. At least from what I've seen here, I don't have that much experience in drawing itself. And uh, yeah, it's worth it. It gives it gives you like a free notebook so you can sketch stuff on it. It doesn't have that many pages, pages to it. I think it has like 60 pages or something like that, not even 60. So yeah, it comes with a sketchbook, but what's inside of the actual um, product itself, it has the pens, obviously. They come from 5H to 5B, so it's the whole range of from H to B, including the HP pens in it. At the moment, this is, I think, the most thing that, the best thing that I could focus on is learning how to use each and every um, pen that is in this kit. This is the most useful thing probably out of the whole, the whole kit at the moment, for me at least, that I'm trying to learn. <coughs> the pens themselves, I, when I try to sketch stuff with it, um, on the sketch itself, uh, I used a B and an HB initially. And what I've seen before, for example, it was an experience in the past where the wood was not that good for a pen of mine. And when I tried to draw or try to shape stuff, the charcoal would break. And I guess it's not because of the charcoal, it's more because of the wood is, isn't holding the charcoal together properly. And that way it bends and breaks. So yeah, at the moment I haven't had this, this experience with the pens, they're pretty alright. We'll see later on. I don't have any experience, as I said, so I can't judge. <laughs> but it looks like a good, good pen-wise, it's a really good option to to have. It comes with two pencil sharpeners. Um, one is metal and has two socks to it, sockets. Uh, one socket is obviously for the pens that are from H to B, and the bigger sockets are for the charcoal pens that I'm going to go over a little bit later on. In the pack itself, it has they have two pencil sharpeners. One is from out of plastic or whatever this one is, and this is from metal. I don't get the reason to have another one with it. I guess the only reason to have another one is in case of, you miss one and you have to replace it. So it comes with two pencil sharpeners, the pens themselves. Now, what's interesting for a beginner at least, <coughs> what I've seen on my sister that she's an architect, is that uh, she used to use charcoal pens. And the reason when you sketch with charcoal, it's harder to erase stuff with it. If you want to erase stuff with charcoal, it's more harder to erase, erase but it creates a better contour, I guess. I mean, shading of the object itself. So this is going to be really nice to use. And it has the charcoal pens of <coughs> hard and soft. And these are out of charcoal. And I need to sharpen them also. Um, it comes with a... This is a graphite uh, pen. I guess the reason of a graphite compared to a charcoal one 
is this is gonna create the outline of the shape that I'm trying to draw and this is gonna create the shade of it so I, it's gonna be nice to try out these pens in the future and I'm gonna actually start drawing this stuff um, what does this kit have? Uh, it has some other stuff but I think they're downstairs somewhere so I cannot find them at the moment um, it comes with a pencil extender the point of this is for example if the charcoal pen I throw it so often and that you have only the edge of the, only a little bit left of it you just put that inside of this thing and you just clamp it in position and you can start drawing so this is really nice and handy to have because you want to get the most value out of the pens themselves why not use them to till they are finished so you can use it as actual pen itself so this is a nice tool to have you just pull on the thing and clamps it comes with two different dimensions to it it looks pretty alright I like it another type of sharpening tool is the how would the English people would say is it's a Stanley knife basically like a razor sharp knife that you can sharpen the charcoal one so you want to create like a more defined or angle based uh, edge of the pencil so this is really handy to have in the toolkit uh, these three ones I'm not too sure how to use them because what comes on the right side here the blend, blending stumps, the charcoal sticks and this paper is just out of my reach because I'm not used to how to I don't know exactly how to use them but yeah it comes with a blending stump it's made out of paper as I've looked on the internet like thin thin layers of paper clumped together and it has three dimensions to it it's like a big medium and small ones I'm guessing this one are really good if you want to draw the a more blended in edge of the object that you're trying to achieve and not see the actual line itself I don't know exactly I need to learn in the future and see how it will be I'll try to do some research about them but they're really useful to have I guess as a beginner and it doesn't cost that much to pay for this pack it comes with the the pack comes with two erasers one is this one the hard one hard eraser and the second one is a soft one but I already used it and it's kind of more uh, dirty um, so yeah this one is really useful it's a hard one and a soft one the pack itself comes with some charcoal sticks rectangular ones but the, I don't get, I don't get exactly where and how to use them I don't know exactly if I need to sharpen them with the, the, the knife itself or I don't know it's gonna be something that I will need to get get interested about and see how it goes uh, the other object in this kit <coughs> is the sandpaper if you want to your and is really dull and you want to sharpen it a little bit and you don't want to use the the knife itself or this sharpener you just use it on the sandpaper it's pretty fine but and it has like a big quantity of it I don't know probably like 20 of them more than 20 or 20 who knows so yeah this kit for me in my opinion is really good for a starting person that wants to get into drawing uh, it has more than you need actually to start drawing because the basic things that you need would be the pens from 5H to 5B, the charcoal ones, the graphite one, the extender, the knives. That would be the basic one with the with um, eraser. But the blending stumps and the charcoal sticks and these ones at the moment are all far out of my reach, so I cannot see if they are useful or not in my situation I'm gonna start drawing in the next episode I want to draw Krillin from Dragon Ball Z 
and start doing some characters from Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, I'm not gonna do uh, Goku from this first because I said to myself, better not leave Goku to draw him later on when I have my better skills, and that would be just not good to draw him. So I thought myself just draw Krillin and see from there what's gonna happen. So yeah, in my opinion, for fifteen pounds, this is a good kit. Has everything that you need. The quality of the product seems alright. I mean, cannot complain because I don't know much about it. So yeah, it's it's my opinion. It's really worth it to buy this kit. So yeah, I see you in the next video. See ya. Bye bye.